Hi Sharks, welcome back. Today I was just going to show you a couple things that had come in the mail for me. Uh, some things, uh, something for sure I had ordered a long, long time ago. I forgot I had even ordered it. And it is this pen that I got from Jet Pens. Uh, and you guys know how I like red. Uh, it's called the Kaweco Sport Pen. And um, it's a plastic body, very lightweight. Um, and this is, I think, an extra fine nib. I'll have to look Only that one. up and see. I got this Kuwaiko Sport, I believe, on Amazon. This one I got from Jet Pens. Um, and like I said, it's a very short pen. I use this for writing. Um, I keep it with me, and it's great for writing. Uh, it... Um, this one, I believe, came with its... Uh, oh, it came with a cartridge. That's what it was. And it, this is the extra fine nib. And right now, it looks like it's leaking a bit. Because <clears throat> it doesn't normally like, write like that. Let me just wipe it off. Let's see. Maybe it's just this paper. It's probably this paper, but I'm, because it's a slippery paper. But it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful written writing pen, and I've been enjoying it a lot. So I wanted to get one just for sketching it. And this converter is itty bitty. I think this one goes with it. We'll find out, won't we? I can't. You know, I don't remember ordering ordering any of it. This is a heavy converter. It's got a metal top on it. Oh my gosh. Tom! <laughs> I can't believe this. That's a gift from Tom. Wine Lover 215. I wondered. I'm like, gosh, I don't remember ordering this. Tom, you are such a sweetheart. And I was just thinking of you this morning. This note from Tom says, Hi, Sharon. I thought you needed a new pen in your life, and you recently said red was your favorite color. I think you will find this pen a great compact, extra fine pen for use while urban sketching or in the studio. Fill the mini converter with carbon ink. Enjoy. Oh, okay. I was going to put my Lexington Gray in, but I will put my carbon ink in there. Um... It's so funny, Tom, because I bought this one about, oh, four months ago on Amazon, and it came with a, um, with a, um, oh, shoot, my, my mind is going again. I'm sorry, you guys. Not a converter, but a cartridge. Thank you. Um, and it seems a little bit bigger than the converters. That's funny. The converter is smaller than the cartridge. I'm not sure. Probably because if it's full, this is going to be up higher. No, that wouldn't make a difference. But anyway, Tom, thank you so much. And I do love this pen. So now I do have one for writing. And I have one now for urban sketching. And I love, love, love the red one. Um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and put this converter on here. I want to make sure I get as much of the air out as possible. Because... I hate having a lot of air in my converter. I know you need a little, but okay, let me pop this in here like that. Tom, you're such a sweetheart, and thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put in my Lexington Gray. Since I have it here, I can always empty it out and put in a different color. Um, I will move all of this down here so you can see me doing this from the side a little bit. This is Noodlers. This is not carbon ink, but um, Tom is saying that I can put carbon ink in there. So now all I need to do is my chamber is all, or my plunger is all the way at the bottom, and this little thing, this little thing screws, and I will screw, uh, screw it up to fill it trying to do it so you can see but it's not working very well this is such a small converter oh maybe it's a plunger converter that's what it is it's not a screwing one there we go and that is why they had a smaller a smaller um cartridge or a converter because the plunger has to go up inside so it needed to be shorter 
I've never used the plunger kind. Oops. I didn't know it. Oh, it came with one. It came with a cartridge. Well, I will use that for my blue pen. That just fell out of there, and I didn't know it was in there. Thank you so much, Tom. Gosh, I'm. it's so funny that I didn't have any idea <laughs> it was from you. I'm like, I don't remember ordering anything from Jet Pens. Golly, that's ridiculous. It took a long time to get here because <laughs> I haven't ordered anything in so long. But, <clears throat> oh, this is just so exciting. And now I'm going to use this paper, and we'll get this ink going. Putting this on the back helps to lengthen the pen so it's easier in the hand. And I will go ahead and write. Let's see if we can get it started here. Yep, it started right away. <clears throat> That's so nice. Now this paper is not doing it justice. Let me try it on my sketch pad and see. <clears throat> this is pretty absorbent paper also, but... Oh, there. Now you get the idea of how fine it is. See how much finer that is compared to what it was doing on here? It was much thicker. That was absorbent paper. Oops, it just leaked a little bit, but that's okay. There. Thank you so much, Tom. Wine Lover 215. I also have another box here that I may as well open. I stopped doing my um, my spring bird painting just so I can open these things. And let me back this back up again. Okay, this is a little bit bigger. I had to tear this off because this uh, has my address on it and I didn't want you guys seeing it. So... I'm going to just tear this off the rest of the way. Carbon. This came from China. And I'm not sure what this is either. I need something to open this box with, though. Let me see if I got my box cutter here. No? Oh, here it is. There we go. I will open this up. I hope I'm in frame. Let me just make sure I'm zoomed out all the way. Yeah. Okay, my dog's going nuts because he wants to open the box. Diesel, no. No. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's coming from China. This must be something I ordered a long, long time ago because their stuff takes forever to get here. Hmm. Oh, no! my markers. Here they are. Oh, see, there he goes, ripping everything apart. <laughs> it comes in a very cool little... I got chows because they're cheaper. Um, and the reason they're cheaper is because they hold less ink in them. So the Copic Chows come in this box. This is the set of 36. I got set A, and it comes with this cute little carrying handle, and uh, it pops open this way, and inside this case is the hard plastic or acrylic case that they come with, um, and these are the colors that came with this set. Um, I have four in this set that are repeat colors of colors I already had, but there was no way around that because I do have some other Copics. It's hard to um, to purchase a set without covering some other ones. And the chow markers are a little bit cheaper than the sketch, um, and that is because they hold less ink in them. Um, this case, they can be kept in this case and stored in this case and they're nice because they have these little things on the top and the bottom 
to keep your markers from bouncing around. So I have been working on some some marker sketches that I can show you. They are in my my book. Uh, let me grab that book and I'll show you what I've been working Set on. Set this aside here. And I will get out the book that I've been working in. Um, I was telling you that I was working in this sketchbook. Now this bleeds. But it's been great paper to to use for marker drawings because watercolor does not work in it. So um, let me just get over to the marker area. Now a lot of this is messy, so you just got to bear with me here. This is some of the stuff that I did um, the first day. I may have showed you this. I did some peppers. This was a mistake. Um, some tangerines, a walnut, some blueberries. And then um, I did this, my YouTube sketchbook, uh, another pepper, and then this onion. I had a lot of fun with the onion. I was pretty happy with the way that turned out. And I have lots of brown and skin tone Copics, so um, it was easy to do that. And then this one I did. I saw this bowl of strawberries. Um online and thought I would do that. And then I did a um, artichoke because of the colors. I wanted to see how I could do that, but um, I was using my blending marker to remove some of the color and it didn't remove real smoothly. So um, I did not do terrific with that, but it was okay. I was real happy with the way the strawberries turned out and the bowl. I liked the way the bowl turned out. And then over here, I did uh, an apple and some kiwi on a paper towel. And this one was from a picture of Anna Rastagueva. Um, and I loved it, so I drew it out. And these are called camellias. And that one turned out fairly well, considering. Now, I had to use some of my Spectrum Noir markers along with my Copics because of my limited color supply. And then that was another flower with limited colors that I did. Um, and that's about it. So that's all I've gotten done with my markers. And I think I did some of the green tangerines in this book as well. Um... Oh, you guys have all seen this one. And then this one. So that's all I've gotten done. And now that I have a few more markers, I can work with those. And, of course, I love my Tombows, so I'll probably work with them more, too. Those Tombows seem to last forever. So, in fact, there's one right there. Um, so anyway, that's all for this video, and I just want to thank you again, Tom. I'm so excited about this pen, and red being my favorite color, I am going to enjoy this. I've been wanting to get a second one of these, um, and I thought, well, I could always just take the cartridge out and purchase a um, converter for it. But now I don't have to because I have this one and I can keep this one in my bag and then this one for my sketch bag. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tom. How nice. You are so sweet to me. God bless you all. Be courageous. Paint with wild abandon. And don't forget to be kind to each other. Bye-bye. God bless.